Hi, I'm going to write a program here for Jim the Scaffolder. I'm going to write a program that will add up or total his earnings over a number of months and tell him what the average earnings are. So I'm going to pull on a button like this and I'm going to call this button. So I'll go onto the object, the object inspector, and you can get this display panel by right clicking as well, property inspector. I'm going to call this enter earnings. I'll just adjust this button slightly so that you can see the name on the button. And I'm going to have a field where I'm going to put the names of the months and I'm going to have another field where I put the amount that he's earned in that month. And then down at the bottom, I'm going to have a field for the total earnings. And I'm going to have another field for the average earnings. So I'm going to label these fields. And I need to change the contents of that label. So I'm going to go on to contents and do here. I'm going to write total earnings. And I need to click over here so that you can see that. I could move it slightly closer. And I need another fit label for this one, and that's going to be the average earnings. Contents. Right, so I'm going to start editing the script. I'm going to go onto this button here. And edit the script. Move this out of the way. And you'll see that I've got the handler all ready to go. So when I click on this on mouse up, the code will get executed. But before I start, I'm going to specify the variables that I'll need. So first of all, I'll need to know which month he's referring to. And I'm going to put in a comment to say that that is a string variable. And I'm going to need earnings for that month. And because that's going to be an amount of money, it may well have a fractional part, like, you know, 1,000 pounds and 99 pence. So I'm going to make it a real variable. And I'm going to need a variable for the total earnings. And I'm using the convention that uh, the second word, any subsequent words, get a capital letter. And that's adding up the money, so that'll be a real variable as well. And when I calculate the average, I'm going to need a variable for that. And just to remind you, by doing this, I'm actually setting aside storage locations in main memory. And this is what I've called them. So I've got four storage locations ready to hold the data that I'm entering. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Jim, how many months do you wish to purchase process? And I can allow him to just cancel out of the program. So I'll say if the result equal cancel, then exit to top. And that just allows me to. And I'm going to put the number of months, so I'm going to call it number of months. I'm going to put what he types in into a variable called number of months. So he's going to type in I don't know, five months. So I'll need to declare this at the top as well. So I'm going to copy it. That's Control C, 
and up at the top I'll place that now this time the number of months you know he might be processing say five months or eight months or three months so there's no fractional part so I'm going to call that an integer we'll say that the type of variable is an integer so I've now got five storage locations in main memory and I've got a string type three real types and one integer type so I now know how many months and I'm going to ask him to enter the name of the month let's um, enter the name of the month and again I can use this if the result equals cancel so I'm going to copy that and paste it down there but obviously I'm going to change that well, I'm going to use the variable that I declared up here, the one about month. So I've got the name of the month, and then I'm going to ask him to copying that. Control C, Control V, and if I press Tab, everything lines up nicely for me. And his earnings, I'm going to put into that variable store it in that storage location I'm going to change that so it reads enter the earnings for change that to this month now I'm just going to save this I'll just save it onto the desktop for now and I'm going to call it uh, Jim's earnings And in fact, I think just to make this look nice, I'm going to go onto the stack. So I've got object stack inspector. Bring this across here. So you'll notice I'm looking at the stack now. I'm going to call the whole stack Jim's earnings. And you'll notice that name comes up there. Right, oops, okay. Now I have the information, I've got the number of months to process. I need I've got the name of certainly the first month and the net the amount of the earnings. So I'm going to put those that information into these fields so that I can sh actually see that they've gone in correctly. So having put it in the storage location, I'm going to put month into field now I need to know what this field is called so I'm going to click on here and I'll look at the property inspector and it says it's field ID 1006 so I could write that or I could actually name the field so I'm going to um, call this display month let's just make that a lower case now, quite a good tip is to copy what you've called it, so control C, and then I click in here into the code or into the script. And then if I paste it in, control V, I'll know that it's exactly what I called it because sometimes it can say it doesn't recognize it, and it's because you've just made a, a spelling mistake. So let's see what happens when I run it. I'm just going to do Control S to save it. I could go File and Save. That would be the same thing. And that compiles the program, which means that all these instructions are translated into machine code, into sort of binary machine code, so that the computer can actually execute them. But over here, I'll click on Enter Earnings. How many months do you wish to process? Let's say three. But you'll notice that just goes into a storage location. We won't actually see anything come up on the screen here. But I'm going to type in January. OK. And you'll notice that it's come up in that field there. 
Now the last question is the earnings for the month, so I'm going to type in £1,520. You'll notice I'm typing it in as an integer. Oh, actually, let's put in and 50 pence because I declared it up here as a real. Um, when I click on OK, again, that will just get put into the storage location, but we won't see it go anywhere. So let's put that into into field. Now let's call this field the display earnings. Again, I'll copy this. Control C. Put into there. Save it to compile it. Click on here. Well, in fact, let's just do five. Let's say August this time. So we should see August appear in the field. And let's say we earned two nine nine ninety nine. That appears there.